question for you, world. Does anybody see what's taking place right before our eyes here in the world, in the United States of America? We are taking these laws that started off this big and we continue to add more laws onto them. More laws on to those laws. More laws on to those laws and those laws and those laws, so forth and so on. This is the enemy's plan. To make so many laws where your freedom of speech, your freedom of self-awareness, being who you are, is no more. These projections and others that cast their projections onto the world and to change laws in order to fit them only creates more laws, more chaos, and more off-balance. No, this is not the answer. Former President Trump or anyone else who thinks they're going to run for presidency to be the American president. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be the president in the United States of America. It's a shame for anybody to wear that title, in my opinion, because of that reason. You hear a lot of this. That's it. If you really want things to change, you got to look. Go back to the Declaration of Independence, period. Examine it with minds. Look at it. Observe why it was created. It was created from very brilliant people. But as others came in, they began to tweak it. Change it around, adding amendments. Laws within the amendments, without the amendments. They done it right in front of our face, world. It's the enemy's plan to control population. And I'm not just talking killing, I'm talking literal control. Socialism. Get everybody off of working on Social Security welfare. Food stamps. So that they can control you. Open your eyes if you choose, world. Because it stands before you. I speak to every nation, every color, every ethnicity, every gender, every religion. It all still applies. Look into the mirror of self reflection. Stop projecting. Stop forcing the world to believe like you. So what if your feelings get hurt? We don't need more laws inside of more laws to control. How thin is your skin, world? I don't say this to shame you. But there are ways to go about these things without making fools of ourselves. Fighting 
all you see on YouTube now. Every time you thumb up, it's about the agenda. It's about one person's hatred for another. Period. That's it. The bottom line lies their world. You gotta see it. That's if you choose to see it. You want to get back to being an independent country again, then you got to take all your alliances out of the countries that surround you. Your commanded alliances, what I speak about, so that you can have trade with them. Each country can trade within their own country. Period. You want to know why you hear this, make America great again? America hasn't been great for hundreds of years, people. Get real. If you really want to look at it and get honest, greatness starts in the mirror. Greatness starts with self-examination. Not projecting on others. My goodness. And it's a, and I'm not siding. You hear what I'm saying? I am not siding with anybody. We've all got it wrong, people. And it starts looking in the mirror. And stop making laws. We need to dismantle this law system, this corrupt nonsense that writes a book 15 inches thick to pass one law. It's ridiculous. And it takes decades just to get in front of somebody. To even be considered to be passed. And here you go with your president saying, we're going to get it done. And every time they leave office, do they get it done? Nine times out of ten, they do not. That's because it was never planned to happen that way. They just fed you a line of candy. And you snorted it up like a drug addict. Now, America and the whole world can be great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this for people to lose hope, but to gain it. To gain understanding. We need to pull the military out of other countries. Bottom line. Then, for a season, they shall protect America. Because, I'll tell you why. When America pulls out their alliances, and gives freedom back to the world and back to self. That means companies making Americans hard working products in another country so you can save a dollar, which you're the ones inflating it. Listen, folks, it doesn't take much to realize where inflation has come from and where inflation will go. It's impossible to pay it. That's why they done it this way. They got themselves into a debt they knew they would never pay and it was going to cost World War III. But no. No longer. My plans, our 
plans is to bring a peace treaty starting with America doing their first works, returning back to America, back to American traits, honor, integrity, loyal. You got to understand this. You can't be a powerhouse outside of your own country if you can't even be a powerhouse within your own. You got homeless people on the streets. Children starving to death. And you do just enough so where you can say, well, we're doing our part. Nonsense. When I rise, when we rise as queen, we'll show you how to make America and the world great again. And it's going to start with doing away with these foolish, nonsense laws created to make and create division amongst the world and the people therein. I don't say this in hatred. I speak with passion. I speak with understanding and wisdom and drive. You as a drug addict, you can't be the president of the United States of America. Hogwash. Like I said, I wouldn't be the president. And that's one of the reasons your judgments cast upon people because of their mistakes. You send them off to prison and you put a label on them as convicts. It follows them around their whole life. Not only in the system, but inside one's self. Not believing that they are going to be good enough or can be great enough to rise above these past mistakes. Hallelujah. We are the born leader. Are not afraid to speak what's real, what's right, and through wisdom. Without being concerned about hurting somebody's feelings. It's deeper than that world. Much, much deeper. Unemployment's up. Well, it's because you're sending the jobs to other countries to make them rich while America stays oppressed. Poverty, middle class, and the few gain the wealth. No longer will this be. Each country and I'm talking about all combined within the ten kingdoms. Being under the moral standard code of ethics, integrity, honor. To create stability within these kingdoms that will promote growth, abundance for every country, state, continent, and city across the world. Now that's great news. We love you world. And until next time, we are your queen.